Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix such an error, which appears when updating a Windows operating system. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Uh, talking of operating systems, at the moment Windows is the easiest one to use while it offers lots of functions. Moreover, Microsoft engineers are working hard on improving it and adding new features all the time. Hence, all those new updates uh, for more attractive interface, better system performance, and so on. At the same time, users may encounter certain errors that have to be fixed. And in today's video, we are going to focus on a particular system error in Windows 10 and what can be done to eliminate it. Most of the time, you can see such an error when updating Windows 10 and 8 and when installing or repairing Windows 7. Quite often, even when you try to update Windows 7 or 8 to Windows 10. Sometimes you may encounter it when installing an application. After all, other cases are also possible, but it's more like a game of chance. This kind of error suggests there is a system failure that may occur while you are doing one of the following things. Installing a new operating system. Restoring the current operating system. When you choose to set wrong time and date values. Or when the diagnostics troubleshooting wizard stops working properly. So before you move on to more serious stuff, I recommend checking if the time and date are correct. Open settings. Time and language. Date and time. If their values don't match your region, get them right. If you do have proper date and time settings, so they can't have caused any problems, let's have a closer look at other ways of fixing this error. The easiest way to fix this error in Windows 10 is by using a standard Microsoft utility. By default, it is integrated into the operating system. But if it's missing from your computer for some reason, you can download it from the Microsoft official website by following the link below this video. To start the utility, go to Settings – Update and Security. In the window that opens, select Troubleshoot to see the list of all possible actions. Find Windows Update and click on Run the Troubleshooter. It starts a system scan for any issues and new updates available. When the scan is over, click Apply this fix. Windows Update will fix the problems it has found, and in this window you can view the problems detected by the troubleshooter and their status after fixing. After the scan and fix process is complete, restart the computer and check if the operating system can work without errors. This error can also appear when the Windows Update service is disabled. To enable it, right-click on the Start menu and select Run. Then type the command services.msc and click OK. Otherwise, you can use the search window to look for Services. Any of these actions will open the list of services. This is what you need to find. Windows Update Background Tasks Infrastructure Service and Windows Event Log. Check their status. It should be running for all of these services. If one of the services is disabled, right-click on it and select Properties. In the window that opens, click Start. Set startup type to automatic and click Apply. Restart the computer and wait until all updates are installed. Now this error should never appear again. If Windows Update and other services are running as they should, let's try to fix the problem by removing installed updates and deleting temporary files from your computer. To do it, stop the Windows Update service by clicking on the corresponding button.
follow this path to open a folder and remove all of its contents. Open the run window again and type clean MGR, then click OK. You will be asked to select a drive. Choose the system drive where the operating system is installed. When the window Disk Cleanup appears, select Clean up System Files and click OK. Check the box for Windows Update Files and click OK again. Then wait for the cleanup to be over. After all of these actions, run the Windows Update service again and check if the error was fixed. If you only see this error recently, try restoring the operating system. Follow the link below to visit our channel for a video on System Restore. If you encounter this problem while updating Windows 7 or 8 to Windows 10, you can try fixing it by editing the registry. To do it, open the run window, type regedit and follow the path. HK Local Machine Software Windows Update OS Upgrade If the key doesn't exist, you can create it. Create a DWORD32 value with the name Allow OS Upgrade. Give it the value data 1 and then restart the computer. This error should disappear now. Another thing to be done is to make sure you don't have a proxy server enabled. Open Control Panel, Internet Options, Connections, LAN Settings. All boxes should be unchecked, including automatically detect settings. Sometimes the error with such code appears when a Windows operating system is installed. In this case, try running the installer with your computer disconnected from the Internet or copy the image file of the operating system to be installed to a USB drive or DVD. Visit our channel for a detailed video guides about it, and you can find the links in the description below. Before installing the operating system, it would be a good idea for beginners to watch a video about MBR and GPT disks to avoid confusion. In the official Microsoft website, you can find a dedicated page with instructions on how to fix update errors. In the same page, you can download a special diagnostics file that will do the job for you. Just download it, start and wait until it completes the scan. When it is over, restart the computer and repeat your attempt to update. I hope that the methods I have shown today will help you fix this error and forget about it for good. And if it ever appears again, you will certainly know what to do. And that is all for now. I hope you find this video useful. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!